Hey, how's it going everyone? Justin again, as always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Today's video is gonna be about pliers and I believe when it comes to pliers, and I think this is specific to pliers, design over cost and quality. Now, I would say design first, then quality, then cost. No, no, it would definitely be design cost then quality that's what it's going to come down to that's what we're going to be talking about today all right starting off with a trusty old pair of radiator hose clamp pliers this is those compression style radiator hose clamps these ones right here made by cornwell you see the teeth it's got on the inside with the different angles these things have been a go-to radiator hose clamp plier of mine for many, many years. Uh, even between that one with the cable that does the thing and sometimes it slips off and snaps your finger. I'm sure a couple of you have had that happen. But for oddball heater core hoses and weird things like that, top upper and lower radiator hoses, these things have pretty much been the be all end all unless it was just turned in such a manner that I couldn't grab onto these whatsoever. And that's where that cable style came into play. I don't have those right now, uh, but I used to have them. Anyways, you can find them over at Harbor Freight, I'm sure at this point, I'm sure they're selling them by now. A, another pair that's been a, a household favorite of mine have been these snap-on ones with this hex key grip thing right here in the middle, because not, all the time am I wanting to try to go and figure out which wrench now granted with this many years of wrenching I can kind of eyeball it get an idea but isn't it just kind of nice to just grab on to whatever little fastener that I need to hold on to for a split second run that little screwdriver in or take the ratchet wrench and these pliers and just kind of work it back and forth and be done so for that these are more of a household favorite granted I, I know they're an automotive tool I'm just telling you by design design wise these are another favorite of mine i use them quite a bit for the household stuff all right design wise <clears throat> snap on duck bill long reach now i'm sure you can find some duck bill pliers somewhere else and i suppose they don't have to be snap on but just by design and just on that one toyota that i was working on where it had this little compression style clamp where it had one knob deal in the middle and two little thin prongs in the end. We're talking old school Toyota vacuum hoses, okay? I was doing a cylinder head on one at Ron's Automotive and it was just nice because these had just enough knurling on the inside to get the bite that I needed to slip that hose clamp off. So by design, this has been a very beneficial set to have in the automotive trade. Now, obviously Klein sells these and a handful of other companies. Yes, these are Mac, but it just so happened that the Mac tool truck guy was there. And it was one of the first times that I saw these and I was doing a lot of uh, battery cables and terminal end replacement at Sears Auto Center. So this is actually one of the original tools that I had uh, when I first started wrenching back in 2010. I still have them today. They're still sharp as sharp can be. Uh, they've never let me down. They also are very helpful when it comes to removing the insulation from the cable as well. Um, okay, by design, everyone knows about those little pinch pull clips from underneath with the little skid plates and stuff like that. A lot of interior stuff and under the hood, taking that plastic covering piece off just above the radiator and in between the... Um, the front bumper, the front core, you know, all that right there, that core support to front bumper, those little clips. So these are a gear wrench. They've been phenomenal. These Lyle ones are pretty close to that with a slight difference. So for fuel lines, those ones where you've sprayed WD-40, you've shot shop air, you're trying to get all the dirt out of it because you just can't pinch the tang in. And sometimes they break. I understand that. But sometimes, just sometimes, something like this can help get a pretty decent bite without breaking it to where you can kind of push it in just a little bit hard, work it back and forth, boom, that guy comes right on off. So Lyle for the win on these. So those have come in handy by design for the automotive. 
oil filter wrench pliers. These have been a pretty good go-to for mine. I like them. They're small. They work great on Asian cars and even some domestic platforms. There's other domestic platforms. I need that three jaw claw and that works out pretty much for the rest of them. Um, but these have been pretty much a go-to for any canister style. I'm sorry, cartridge style that I can grab onto and turn. So those are good. Uh, by design, the PWZs, snap-on. So, yes, there's been a lot of look-alikes. I think uh, Icon tried their luck at making something similar. I believe there's a couple of other brands out there that have tried something similar. But by design, these things are pretty much a be-all, end-all, especially for stubborn uh, inner tie rods that you just simply have a hard time breaking free of all that rust to try to adjust the tie rod. So... By design, I think these are phenomenal. They also work out well for removing uh, broken exhaust bolts that you can still bite onto and intake manifold studs as well. So if you just wanna grab the end of it and turn it out, you can. Other times they give you a little hex end. You could use like a five millimeter, 5.5 and work it out that way. But sometimes that hex end is all chewed up, all to crap. And you need something like this to kind of pinch and roll it through. So by design, that's why I picked those. I don't believe anyone else comes close to making anything like that. Uh, Craftsman. Okay, so I got these after I had already gotten the Blue Point ones. I think I might have given the Blue Point ones away at one point on YouTube, but these things came in at a fraction of the cost, obviously, because they're not Blue Point. But these have been great for cutting bulk hose when it comes to transmission lines, fuel lines, um, radiator hoses, heater core hoses, things like that. If you want a nice flush cut, these work great for, for hoses. By design, these ones to push that transmission cooler line off of the barb, hose to tube. These things have worked out great. They're phenomenal. I wouldn't, I don't even know who made these. I think I wanna say possibly another Lyle tool. Wanna say I might've even gotten these off of the Matco tool truck. Does say made in USA doesn't have a Matco name brand on there, so I'm unsure as to where I got these things, but these things have been phenomenal. I'm sure you can find something close on the Amazon, and I'm sure that'll work out just fine. Okay, by design. Now, I know these are Matco, but Carlisle was actually the first pair that I ended up picking up that are very, very similar to this Matco brand. Now, I don't know what happened to the Carlisle ones. I don't know if I lost them or what, but I couldn't find them one day. Matco happened to have been there, so I picked one up, and I think maybe I might have found them later, but they're not in my toolbox, so hard to say. But at any rate, I like these for the butt connectors and wire stripping and cutting. Now, for butt connectors especially, because it's a really one-stop shop. You put that butt connector in there, it doesn't matter if it's 12-gauge, 8, 10. Give a nice little squeeze. It has a little bit of flex in the handle at the end, and you're done. That's it. You don't have to put more effort behind it you don't have to try to find the size on them and then do all this and have some ginormous pair that big it's just pointless pointless by design okay so i tried my luck at the plastic ones i think the plastic ones i did pick up first were from harbor freight they did not work out well i think i tried to pick up some plastic ones maybe that were made by lyle off of a tool truck might have been gear wrench at one point in time his tool truck jeff uh they did not hold up very well they kept leaking fluid I tried these bad boys out one time and I was hooked. I ended up picking up a total of four. So I had multiple lines going on, different repairs that some, sometimes when I'm doing heavy line, two transmission lines over here, radiator heroes over here, heater cores over here. Yeah, so pinch these things off. These things have been great. They don't allow fluid to bypass by design. I don't know who made those, but those things are phenomenal. So if you find a pair, get yourself at least two. That's my recommendation. Uh, Cobra, so these are made by Knipix, okay? These little Cobra guys have been extremely beneficial and by design, I really like them. Again, we're going design over cost and over quality, but you'll see that some of these are quality and some of these are not. We're coming up to the ones that are probably not. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so these are the Icon hose pliers. These things have worked out very, very well for me. Perfect amount of uh, teeth, not too, too much. Doesn't exactly rip and tear through hoses or anything like that. So it's just enough knurling to get a bite and a twist, get those lines off. And it's not over coarse to where it's ripping and shredding the heck out of the hoses.
by design, these things are pretty similar to these one Snap-on makes. You see a lot of similarities there with the teeth, the three adjuster piece that it has, okay? Perfect amount of heavy knurling by design for the cost. These things with quality, all in one right here. Pretty good little pair of flyers and you're not spending a fraction as much. Okay, by design, I think these are also Icon. And you can see I've got the 45 and I have the straight ones. These ones do work out very, very well. I have no complaints. I will tell you that prior to this, and I these are more of kind of a go-to really, it just depends on the situation I'm in. When I need to get down into a recessed area, by design, these Matco ones are substantially longer than the Icon by a long shot. So when I need to get down into something weird to get that little socket that I dropped or get that little fastener that I dropped, these things are absolutely beneficial because of the length. I got the 45s in them too, but these for shorter areas where I don't have to get down so far, pretty nice to have loved and enjoyed having them so by design 45 and long needle nose are your friend get some jd tico wire nips these things have cut uh metal hangers they've cut all kinds of wires and other silly things conduit um cotter pins i've been able to bend and tweak and pull cotter pins out haven't had any issue none of the metal deteriorated over time none of it gouged so pretty good product check them out jd tico okay by design really really great quality um and probably better price than you would imagine the snap one has okay by design uh we got a couple other things here first i want to show you the vice grips the needle nose vice grips so these things do work out very well especially when it comes to doing drum breaks and there are some other things that you might want to adjust the knob and pinch and hold the hood strut that is failing that the customer does not want to replace so yes uh, there are different types of vice grips that you can get, but I do recommend at least the needle nose. So get you a pair of the needle nose. Uh, down to the nitty gritty here, three more items left. These are snap-on retainer ring pliers or separators, okay? Uh, they've worked out well for ball joints, for rebuilding the Mako ratchet, uh, for transmission rebuilds when I was in class doing them. Didn't do really any rebuilds uh, at the dealership when I was uh, working as a line tech, uh, except for in the classroom setting. Um, but did a couple of rebuilds at home earlier on in my career of uh, the Saginaw 3-speed and a Power Glide. Used these, pretty phenomenal. Again, one of my original tools from when I first started. And I've held on to them. Actually, I almost sold them. Um, my buddy Jake already had this pair and didn't need it, so. I think that there was a higher power that wanted me to keep these because they have been that handy and beneficial. And I'm sure at some point I would have missed having them and tried to find them again. Uh, I have not found any other brand that makes them better. That's the one that I liked. That's the one that I use the most. Ergo, that's the one that I still have left. Uh, by design, so these are not bad for a tongue and groove joint style of plier or channel lock design-ish, okay? Uh, but I will say that the head of it, maybe I wish it was a little bit longer. A little bit longer might have been cool. Obviously, this is an over-exaggerated version of them, and these channel lock ones have come in handy. I call these the T-Rex. These T-Rex ones are the last ones that I will make mention of, and they have come in handy for a couple of different things, really, as a heavy line tech, to widen them up about that much or that much i could actually grab the transmission at the bottom and the engine block and squeeze and try to line it up see if it's all kind of mating through and then i might if i did was able to pull it close i move it in a little bit i repinch and i go to pull again and you'll hear a clunk clunk and that sweet sound of the engine mating with the transmission and then holding it all in place so you could start your threads. Every line tech, heavy line tech needs a set of these bad boys. All right, guys, that's all I have for this video. Thanks as always for watching my channel. Stay tuned. We did have a subscriber question that we are gonna answer. I just need a little bit more time to think about it, but he wants to know, 
why snap on anything and in particular why am i so drawn to their diagnostic scan tools and are there other things snap on that i prefer over any other brand that answer will be coming up in the next video that's all i got for now cheers we'll see you guys next time deuces